the thing you thought that would happen at the end of Ahsoka in the season finale, that's what happened. It's exactly what happened. You got it. I don't think I've ever seen a show that had as many setups and lack of payoffs than the Ahsoka show. It's pretty ridiculous what I just sat through in those eight episodes of just nothing. <laughs> if I could summarize the plot in a few short seconds, it would be something along the lines of Ahsoka decides to stop Thrawn because people want to find Thrawn, but she doesn't stop Thrawn. And nothing was al learned along the way. I mean, there's no plot. Nothing, ha nothing happened. Eight episodes and, and Thrawn gets away regardless, which he was going to do anyway because there's going to be a movie. Probably, maybe, who knows. Why don't we go through the whole plot and I'll tell you point by point why not only was this probably the worst episode, but also embarrassing to Dave Filoni. Let's take a look and see. You know, cheer me up a little bit. A little Godzilla jumping down in there, right there in the corner. So let's talk about this. Let's go through this is from Collider. We're going to go through the recap and I'm going to explain why this is incredibly stupid. It's called The Jedi, The Witch, and The Warlord. Obvious reference to The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Why? Because Dave Filoni likes to name things, right? Uh, so the Great Sisters welcome Morgan Elsbeth, the most non-Star Wars named character I've ever heard. They turn her into, I don't know, and they give her a sword out of nowhere. And Thrawn's just sitting there staring like, whatever, man. I, I have yet to see that. Uh, how is Thrawn some sort of tactical genius of anything? Like, so far, he's done nothing to be interesting at all whatsoever. Then we have Ezra constructing a new lightsaber for himself. Oh, by the way, that first scene with, with Morgan Elspeth, so long, like, why does it take so long to do stuff in this show besides you're just padding the runtime? Like, they literally spend five minutes staring at glowing nothing so that a sword could come out. And, of course, it's it's one of those uh, swords that's it's like not a real combat sword. It's like a, a, a dancing sword. And it's just, no, none of it makes sense. I think it's like a like a Tibetan monk or Buddhist monk sword that they do sword da Shaolin temple fighting, but it's like it's for ceremonial purposes. It's not a, a not a real weapon. I, I I don't know. It just seems stupid. A flaming sword, right? Uh, so anyway, Hu Yang is arguing with Ezra. Don't care. Puts together a lightsaber. Don't care. And um. Sabine goes and talks to Ahsoka. Don't care. Because, you know, she betrayed everything. She's like, how much you know? Everything. Okay, well, why don't you kill her right then and there? Uh, then they get shot with a TIE fighter. This <laughs> There's no point to this other than to set up that they wanted to ground assault a Star Destroyer flying in the sky. Don't understand... If you're linking up in or like none of this makes sense at all. Do you know the amount of power it would take for a star destroyer to stay in like just in in the regular atmosphere? Just stick it in orbit. Once you loaded the thing up, I I still don't understand why Thrawn didn't just leave. Just go lock up with the thing in orbit. Why are you sitting there? So whatever. They're just uh doing nothing trying to hold up they're trying to protect these little crabby guys whatever man none of this don't care oh this part is funny so she so uh, sabine trashes their 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 shuttle and they have to fix it okay whoop-de-woo um 
Ahsoka, Ezra, and Sabine decide to take a pair of howlers straight to Thrawn's front door. Now, what I want to I want to think I want you to think about this for a hot second. They had one howler, which somehow became two howlers. Remember that whole thing where Sabine made friends with a howler, which they never they set that up that she became friends with it, and he retreated from he retreated from combat with her. They, but then it never paid off. Remember setups that don't pay off. So one howler became two. If you had to bet money that Ezra was riding bitch. <laughs> I, I would have won at all the times. And I would have said the same thing if either Ahsoka or Sabine. Because if you have two Howlers, why not just have three? Why does someone got to ride, bitch? Of course, it's got to be Ezra, right? So they, 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 Thrawn intends to rain hellfire down upon them. Just fly away, bro. You got <laughs> there on the ground with no ship. You have a Star Destroyer. And you want to link up with something that I'm telling you it's easier in orbit, but that's okay. You don't have to do that. So anyway, they send out the night troopers, which uh, again, don't, don't understand. doesn't make any sense. Don't, I guess we got zombies. <laughs> this bar was so stupid too. So they're like in this temple and they're, I guess they're running up the stairs, kind of like Ghostbusters. It's got like a million stairs and they're just going to keep going. Um, there are shots of these troopers and, and I don't know that they're the zombie troopers, but maybe they are, but maybe they're not. Cause at some points they're walking like zombies. Some points they're fighting like real people don't know, but they don't have weapons. <laughs> All right. The core and the choreography in these fight scenes is some of the worst I've ever seen. If I, if I see all I saw was <laughs> all I could think of was Ahsoka swinging her big old tit like like she had like tassels at the end of her because that's what it looked like she's just swinging them around her lightsabers and just blocking stuff she looks so slow and so bad oh this is so terrible and I, what happened to the force is my ally i don't need a lightsaber oh okay ezra so you know and what happened to the zombie troopers that they cut in half that they used their lightsabers to like that no 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 okay so Thrawn still hasn't left yet because, you know, he's just hanging around because whatever, man. And then <laughs> Ahsoka urges Ezra to Sabine to split off, even though every time they split up, it's terrible. And they keep saying we shouldn't split up and Wang you or you Wang says you shouldn't split up. They split up again. And there's a, I, I didn't want to see Old Lady Showdown, and I got Old Lady Showdown. It wasn't that good in The Mandalorian. It was real bad in this one, because they're both even older. And she's using this blade, and she's, like, holding it with her hands. You know, you could just, you know, clip her fingers off, or slice her wrists off, or why a flaming air sword is better than a lightsaber, I don't know. I don't understand why you would bring any of this into it. Not interesting. So they then they get a couple of super strong undead troopers. Why are they super strong? Don't know. How? Because whatever. It's like video game logic, man. You you run up the tower to get to the next level boss, and you have to fight the two. Whatever. Don't, sure. It's a thing. And oh my gosh, I could hear the people clamoring. Sabine got her force power. I'm so excited. Don't care. What, what she magically, like, we're supposed to, like, oh, it's like when Luke at Hoth got his lightsaber powers. Yay. Like, he grabbed the lightsaber. No, this is so dumb. And then the vessel is pulling away. Finally, Thrawn's vessel is leaving. And um, I think it's called the Manticore. I should correct myself. I think I called it Death, the Death's Head. I think that's a different ship in his fleet. I could be wrong. Or the Chimera. Yeah, that's right. It's the Chimera. It's not the Manticore. I think that's like there's three of them. I don't remember. It's from the much better books that you should read by Timothy Zahn called Heir to the Empire. It's a trilogy. Really good. Read that instead of watching this. Uh, so Thrawn's ship is pulling away. And, you know, instead of closing the doors, which I know is really hard in Star Wars, it's hard to close doors. 
Ezra jumps, and all of a sudden, Sabine's got great force powers. She could just lift them up, chuck them in the... Whatever. Okay. And he's like, come on, man. Come with me. Ezra's yelling at her. And she's like, no, I'm going to go help with Ahsoka fight off the troopy troops. So then there's more terrible, like, where'd she get her Mandalorian helmet? Last time I checked, she blasted off on the planet that she got, you know, she got put into jail, right? Didn't she willingly give the map to Balin? And then do and then, you know, got captured and what didn't have access to her stuff, but suddenly has her guns and her lightsaber. But her, they brought her helmet too, apparently. Who knew? So, uh, then you get um, Morgan Elizabeth dies. You know, you thought there might be a setup to the character where they change her and they give her new... Nope, she's dead. Don't worry about it. It's cool. It's complete waste. Even this article says, like many of the characters in Ahsoka, Morgan's character arc was poorly contrived and painfully underdeveloped. Why even bring her back? What are her motives? What's her backstory? I thought she was a businesswoman, but apparently she's not. And Dave Filoni cannot write. <laughs> it's so stupid. Just a waste. Uh, then what happens? So Ezra finds himself... Th this part was incredibly stupid too, because Ezra like steals a stormtrooper outfit and then hides on the on on the chimera for long enough to then steal a ship with nobody knows nobody pays attention so what he can go back and warn the republic like that scene was so jarringly stupid and jarring like all of a sudden a ship shows it's just so they could show hera again and her stupid droid chomps or chopper or whatever his name is and then now Ahsoka and Sabine are have found themselves stranded. And they're like, well, at least we got Ezra home. No, you put Ezra on the death on the Star Destroyer. He's probably dead. Oh, wait, he'll just hide in Stormtrooper armor. You know, if they're all dead, they'll never notice that he's alive. Or if they're not dead, they'll never notice that he's not a clone or whatever he is. Who knows? None of it. So... Thrawn gets away, and Dirk just gonna sit on the planet and live with the little crab people forever. And funny enough, do they even talk about it? Uh, they don't talk about Shin Hati or Balin Skull at all. They embark on personal quests, which I don't care. <laughs> like I, ca I just can't care anymore. Shin Hati is gonna join the Scavengers. And what, fight Ahsoka on the planet? Over what? Over who cares? What are you fighting over now? There's nothing to do. You're both. You're all stranded. And then Balin Skull is... Ray Stevens got, didn't even have a line in this episode. You should have just had him, like, touch some sort of thing and CGI'd his face getting melted into something. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't care. The show is terrible. Anyone, I hope all of you people who attacked me during all my other reviews. You, tell me what was good about this. We get to see the Force Ghost of Anakin one more time. Just like in the tw 2004 DVD edition of Return of the Jedi. You know, when he died and went back to the the, the good side, he de-aged himself. Obi-Wan didn't de-age himself. But he, Yoda didn't de-age himself. But Hayden Christensen sort did. That makes a lot of sense. Right. Where does this land? Uh, it lives in the shadow of Obi-Wan. <laughs> Obi-Wan sucked. Obi-Wan is still the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. This at least wasn't canon breaking. This was just written by dummies. Dave Filoni is a terrible writer. And anybody who tells me he's responsible for the Clone Wars, I did my research this time. I didn't watch him. He did not write them or create them. He was like the head director overseeing the project. He didn't write the episodes. He didn't direct them. It's just basically a supervising director. So get out of town. He had nothing to do with it. You guys don't do enough research. You don't know what you're talking about. So stop criticizing me. You can't defend the show. There's nothing to defend. 
There's nothing. I can't even say that I care about Ray Stevenson, who was good in this, because he has no story arc, because I don't know what he wanted or what he wanted to do. Why? Who cares? What is it? Who cares? Literally, what was the point of this? Bring Thrawn back? I You could have cut out the entire show and just had Thrawn show up, and it would have been more interesting than doing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Why was he in another galaxy? Why why not just have him in the Outer Rim somewhere? Is the, the One galaxy is not big enough. You have to involve multiple galaxies and a stupid ring ship that does nothing and whatever. Like, this is just a complete waste of my time. Was it a waste of your time? Let me know in the comments below. I will be happy to debate you. I'd be happy to talk to you about it if you want to talk to me about it. And if you liked it, Look, more power to you. I, you just can't say it was well written because there isn't a single character arc in the entire thing. Who has? A, oh, Sabine gets the Force. Isn't she still like pretty bad person for betraying the entire galaxy to let some guy go home that she didn't know she was going to be able to get him home? Tell me who has a character. Ahsoka sure didn't. And if you tell me that she put on a white outfit, okay, that's not a character arc. You need like motivations and things to turn you. She always liked Anakin as a master, and now she still likes Anakin as a master. Okay, congratulations. I, I didn't need this show to learn that. So anyway, thanks for listening to all of this. If you want to catch out our full-length audio podcast, it is on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, as well as here on YouTube. You can live stream it, 7.30 p.m. Friday nights, Eastern Standard Time, or just catch it whenever you want. It's up here. That's our last one, but I'm on. Looks like, Loki, you're in my sights next. I'm coming for you next. You better be better than this, but I'm on to the next one.